Have you ever felt like your life is a bit messed up? Maybe you're stuck in a rut, feeling overwhelmed, don't know where to go from here, lost your spark, or just generally dissatisfied with everything. It's okay, we've all been there. But here's the thing, even when life seems like it's gone off the rails, there's always a way to get back on track. So if you're feeling a little lost, stuck, or just in need of a little pick-me-up, you're in the right place. We've got some tips, tricks, and straight up real talk to help you unfuck your life and get back to living your best one. Step one, embrace the chaos. First things first, let's admit it. Life can be pretty messy sometimes. Life can be a bit like a roller coaster with unexpected twists and turns. But instead of trying to control every single thing, why not embrace the chaos? Acknowledge where you're at without judgment. Take a good hard look at your situation, accept it for what it is, and give yourself permission to feel whatever emotions come up. It's okay to not have all the answers. Take a deep breath and remember that it's the messy moments that often lead to the most beautiful outcomes. Step two, identify what's not working. After you've had a heart to heart with yourself and realigned your views about life, it's time to figure out what's not working. Is your job draining the life out of you? Are your relationships hurting more than helping you? Do you have a bad habit that you need to break? Be honest with yourself about what's weighing you down and keeping you from living your best life. It may be scary to confront those uncomfortable truths, but trust us, it's the first step towards a brighter, happier you. So grab a notebook, pour yourself a cup of tea, and let's get real. Step three, set some goals. Once you know what you wanna change, time to set some goals. What do you want your life to look like? Where do you wanna be in six months, a year, or five years? Break it down into manageable steps and make a plan to get there. Let's say, for example, you wanna travel the world. Start by saving up some money and researching some beautiful destinations that fit your budget and preferences. Your goals don't have to be set in stone. It's okay to adjust them as you go along. The most important thing is that you set goals that inspire you and give you something to strive for. And hey, don't forget to celebrate your victories along the way, no matter how small they seem. Step four, break your bad habits. Whether it's unconscious spending, eating too much junk food, or being addicted to video games, we all have those bad habits we just can't seem to break. We know they're not good for us, but we just can't seem to quit them because we don't understand the underlying reasons why we do them in the first place. All we know is that giving into them is much easier than quitting them because certain habits are ways for us to escape reality, avoid something in our life, or resist change, even if it's for the better. But if you wanna unfuck your life, it's time to swallow the hard truth that some things you just need to let go of or change. Don't know where to start? We have plenty of videos that can help you, like five ways to stop bad habits and make good ones, and seven little habits to have a better day that you can do today. But to make a long story short, Identify your bad habits and start kicking them to the curb. Replace them with healthier alternatives and watch as your life transforms one habit at a time. Step five, connect with others. Humans are social creatures and we thrive on connection. Yes, even introverts. So reach out to a friend, call up your family or join a club where you can meet like-minded people. Having a support system is crucial for our well-being, so don't be afraid to lean on others when you need it. Nobody has to go it alone. Surround yourself with people who lift you up and encourage you to be your best self. And don't be afraid to ask for help. It's a sign of strength, not weakness. Step six, take accountability. All right, buckle up because we're about to get really real. Facing the harsh truths about ourselves and our situations can be tough. It means taking a good, hard look in the mirror and owning up to our mistakes, shortcomings, 
and the parts of our lives that aren't working out so well. But here's the thing, avoiding these truths only keeps us stuck in the same old cycle. We've all been there, right? We all know how easy it is to hide behind our excuses, procrastinate, or lose ourselves in time-sucking ventures that lead us nowhere. We're human, and sometimes we just need a break or a distraction. It's okay to acknowledge that, but guess what? The biggest roadblock standing between you and a life that's not totally messed up is staring right back at you in the mirror. Step seven, reframe your limiting beliefs. So here's the deal. You have the power to change your situation. Yeah, it might take some work and it might not happen overnight, but it's absolutely within your reach. Your biggest obstacles now are your own limiting beliefs. Limiting beliefs are those sneaky thoughts that creep into your mind and tell you things like, you're not good enough, or you'll never succeed but we're here to tell you to stop listening to them. Seriously, it's time to kick them to the curb and reframe your mindset. Instead of focusing on what you can't do, start thinking about what you can do. Replace those negative thoughts with positive affirmations. For example, if you catch yourself thinking, I'll never find a job I love, try reframing it as, I have unique skills and experiences to offer and I'm determined to find a fulfilling career. It might feel a little awkward at first, but the more you challenge those limiting beliefs and replace them with empowering thoughts, the more you'll start to believe in yourself and your ability to create positive change. And step eight, keep going. Finally, but perhaps most importantly, keep going. Even when life feels like a dumpster fire, there's always something to be grateful for. So don't give up. Change takes time and there will inevitably be setbacks along the way. But as long as you keep putting one foot in front of the other, you'll get there eventually. Trust in yourself and your ability to navigate whatever life throws your way. Applying these rules won't always be easy and there will undoubtedly be bumps along the way. But with a little bit of effort and a whole lot of self-love, you can overcome anything life throws your way. Take it one step at a time. And before you know it, you'll be looking back on this moment as the beginning of something beautiful. So got any other tips you wanna add? How do you plan to start living your best life today? Share your insights in the comments down below and don't forget to like and share this if you found it helpful. And click here to watch more videos like six signs you're abandoning yourself for others and how to detach from people and situations. Be free. Subscribe to our channel for more uplifting mental health content and join our community. Thanks for watching.